this is related to inviting applications for general accounting that's a r2 yeah. or noida three to seven years of experience is required and uh, inviting applications for the role of management trainee general accounting record to report for noida so what sort of responsibility is going to be there the first in this role you will be responsible for all the activities related to the first is going to prepare post journals at the end of the month after analysis of prepaid and accruals account etc so we have to do the analysis of prepaid and accruals so it means that whatever the expenses we have to book from prepaid expenses to expenses we have to do that whatever the accruals we have to do the reversals we have to do that after that whatever the new prepaid expenses we analyze for that month we have to reclassify that amount towards the balance sheet related to accruals whatever new accruals we have to do in the books of account we have to do that that's pertaining to the prepare and post the journal at the end of the month after analysis of prepaid and accruals so we are going to see towards the books of account either our previous month expenses what we park in the prepaid expenses pertaining to that month how much is we have to do the expense of so we are going to do that journal entry coming back to the new prepaid expenses if any new expense incurred pertaining to that month we have to transfer towards the balance sheet as in prepaid expenses and we have to update that in the, our prepaid expense schedules similarly for the accrual expenses whatever we booked in the previous month we have to do the reversal of that based on either the, that invoice is pertaining to accruals got booked in the systems or not and whatever the new accru new accruals we have to consider we need to take the entry for that as well so that's pertaining to the prepare and post the journals at the end of the month after analysis of prepaid and accruals account that's going to be the work we have to do the question is going towards that what is mean by prepaid expenses how you are going to do the entry for that how you identify what sort of expenses going to considered as a prepaid expense can you give the few examples of the prepaid expenses how you are going to take the entry for that prepaid expenses and assets or liability what is mean by prepaid expense schedule what is uh, how you are going to perform the prepaid expense reconciliations have you ever observed there is any discrepancies when you perform the prepaid expense reconciliations if it's yes how you rectify that and how you ensure such kind of errors not going to be there in the future same is going towards the accrued expenses as well what is mean by accrued expenses is there any difference between the provision for expenses and accrued expenses how you are going to get the details for take the accruals for that month what entry you are going to do for accruals how you are going to do the re reversal of accruals and when you are going to do that what is mean by recurring accruals and non recurring accruals every month we have to do the certain entries related to the accrued expenses then that's going to be recurring journal entries and uh, the few is based on the informations what we gathered from the other department how you are going to do the uh, accrued expense reconciliations it's mentioned accruals account so it's going to be accrued income as well or accrued expenses as well prepare monthly closing calendar and discuss the status activities with client every day in close if it's a 5 days is going to be the close for that month then we have to prepare the monthly closing calendar and we have to keep discussing on the status with client so the day 1 day 2 day 3 day 4 then what is the status is there we have to keep updating discussing with the client 
execute internal controls and checks as a part of the process and performing tasks with accuracy and timelines. We have to put the more controls in place. We have to follow the checklist. That's going to be the part of the process and performing tasks with accuracy and timelines. When you have the checklist, then checklist is going to be helped to ensure the accuracy and plus the timelines if we agreed when we are going to complete which activity day one day two day three and uh, these are all the checklist is there this is the checklist and we have to follow this checklist so that's going to be held for more accuracy and deliver the report on time supervise intercompany reconciliations status and do vital follow up with relevant team to get variances resolved before month end so the intercompany reconciliation is important from the r standpoint when we have to do the consolidated mis when we have to prepare the pnl balance sheet as in conso then this intercompany reconciliation is important to eliminate the intercompany balances the question is going to us that as well key what is mean by intercompany reconciliations how you are going to perform to that what sort of uh, discrepancies you observe in the intercompany reconciliations? How you get clear that variances? And that's important to clear before month end. Since the balances is balances what's there in the intercompany, that's important from the consolidated standpoint, consolidation standpoint to reconcile. That's also the responsibilities there. Daily bank reconciliations and clearing, identify open items and take it up with the relevant team to get closure before month end to ensure no open items after the closing. Daily bank reconciliations and clearing. So we have to keep a track on the bank reconciliations. We have to ensure the bank balance is matched with the books of account. If any discrepancy is there, we have to inform to the respective team to take the actions on that and we have to get that resolved. So here also again, the question is going to be, what is mean by bank reconciliations? Have you ever performed that? What sort of discrepancies you observe? How you are going to close that? That's all the questions is going to be. The build payment proposals and review exceptions in SAP and ERP. This is added from the payment propos proposals. It's the additional responsibilities and review exceptions in SAP and ERP. Perform duplicate payment check, perform quality checks on payment proposal and review critical and month-end activities to ensure smooth close, currency valuations and APAR reposting. So this is perform duplicate payment check. So from the GL standpoint, this is added the additional responsibilities where we are going to cross verify. We are going to put some controls and to check either any duplicate payment was not done from the accounts payable team. We have to perform quality checks on the payment proposals and review critical the month end activities. So that's the additional activities related to the accounts payable and account receivables. Fixed asset creation, disposals, and depreciation run, CCA, COPA cycles run, and FICO integration check. So this is pertaining to the fixed assets. We have to create the fixed asset in the system. So we have to do the capitalizations. If any asset is need to dispose, we have to do that. We have to run the depreciations. So the entire knowledge related to the fixed assets from doing the capitalization to till disposal of the assets is required here in this scenario. Might be the sum. See, uh, in organizations, the FA, if we have the huge fixed assets but another department is going to take care for that and if we don't have that much fixed assets and just laptop and all these things so our to our team is going to take care for that itself so the capitalizations how we are going to do the entry for disposal what's the depreciations how the what what entry we have to do pertaining to the depreciations so that's all is important here and this is pertaining to the one job profiles how that's going to be the work and uh, what's relevance for these roles and responsibilities. So there are such kind of work we have to perform in this activity and uh, we have to ensure we have all the knowledge related to all these things.
and most of the details we already covered in our content, in our course content related to post the journal entries, <coughs> month end journal entries, prepaid expenses or cruel expenses, month end close calendar and discuss, then related to intercompany reconciliations we are going to discuss, bank reconciliation also is there, then fixed asset also is there. Only this duplicate payment check and build payment proposal, it's not there since this is pertaining to the accounts payable, but the rest all is belongs to the R2R. So, this is what we have to And any questions, if he is going to ask on all these activities, we should be in a position to give the answer for that. Says meaningful work experience, become BBA, uh, MS, special ex good verbal and written, experience in GL, technology skills, SAP experience people. ठीक है